Remote procedural calls. One of the most common forms of remote service is the remote procedural call paradigm, which we we'll, we we'll discuss briefly in this section. The RPC was designed as a way to abstract the procedural call mechanism for use between systems with network connections. It is similar in many respects to the IPC mechanism described in last section, and it is usually built on top of such a system. Here, however, because we are dealing with an environment in which the processes are executing on separate systems, we must use a message-based communication scheme to provide remote services. In contrast to RPC messages, the messages in exchanged in RPC communication are well-structured and are thus no longer just packets of data. Each message is addressed to an RPC chairman listening to a port on the remote system and each contains an identifier specifying the function to execute and the parameters to pass to that function. The function is then executed as requested, and any output is sent back to the requester in a separate message. A port is simply a number included at the start of a message package. Whereas a system normally has one network address, it can have many ports within that address to differentiate the many network services it supports. If a remote process needs a service, it addresses a message to the proper port. For instance, if a, if a system wishes to allow other system to be able to list its current users, it would have a daemon supporting such an RPC attached to a port, say port 327. Any remote system could obtain the needed information by sending an RPC message to port 3027 on the server. The data would be received in a reply to the message. Semantics of RPCs allow a client to invoke a procedure on a remote house as it would invoke a procedure locally. The RPC system has the details that allow communication to take place by providing a stop on the client side. Typically, a separate start exists for each separate remote procedure. When the client invokes a remote procedure, the RPC system calls the appropriate stop, passing it the parameters provided to the remote procedure. This stop locates the port on the server and marshals the parameters. Parameter marshalling 